Welcome back. We are going to be talking about AI today, and uh, my partner Walt looks a little different for this uh, scenario. Oh, shaved. Ooh, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so I am Emily Cecilia. I'm a former K2 classroom teacher, so the little kiddos is where it's at. Stacey and I taught together eons ago. Long time and uh, in the classroom. And so we're gonna take a look at some videos that Kelly, who is just joining Congratulations, Kelly. the um, education workforce. Go Kelly. Cheers to Kelly. Cheers to Kelly. Woo. Uh, and we're gonna give some feedback and, and see what she's got. Hello, today I will be doing a brief demonstration on a, an AI tool for teachers and students called um, School AI. Um, so after creating an account, this is the page that you will see. There are many different tools on this Discover page um, for teachers and students to use. For example, there's this tool called Sidekick in which you can do this as a bell ringer or just even as an activity during the day. Um, and in this box right here, you can just put um, what you want Sidekick to do with your students. So I'm going to say I want um, to discuss the water cycle. This tool I've already tested out a little bit on my own. So you will have your students um, either copy this link or scan this QR code and then type in this code right here. Um, and then the students will um, be prompted um, with a chat box in which they can say anything they want. And they will be engaging with this AI tool about the water cycle. Um, and as I was messing around with this tool, I pretended to be very engaged and interested in the water cycle, um, in which I had a great conversation with the AI bot. But then I also was trying to be not very engaged and I was trying to talk about sports and other different things that had nothing to do with the water cycle, but the AI bot was still able to relate it back to the water cycle. Um, and as the teacher, you will also be able to see where your students are and how they are engaging with the bot. Um, these ones are similar. And then there are also some other sidekick bots that are already created um, that you can browse through. So then for some tools that are um, on this website, um, there's a wide variety of them. Um, so I've already, as you can see, I've already messed around with a couple. Um, I'm going, I really enjoyed this time-based activity. You can do any grade level. I will do fourth. I'll say multiplication tables. And I'll say 15 minutes. Just as a quick activity, let's see what the bot comes up with. So it comes up with multiplication bingo. It comes up with a couple other ideas too, which is nice that I, I'm able to choose which one I think will be best for my students. And it's also nice that it gives you the materials you'll need and a full description. Um, it can create a class newsletter where you just say what um, is happening in your classroom and it creates a very nicely worded newsletter. If you are struggling to create an agenda for a PLC, it can help you with that. Overall, this um, website was pretty easy to use and it had a lot of tools that I think some teachers will find useful. So Stace, what I really like about what Kelly was showing with School AI is the opportunity that it affords the teacher. So students are working on a certain topic and they're getting feedback, real-time feedback on what they're doing, which allows the teachers to, or the teacher to work either one-on-one -on -one or in small groups and really frees up their time to do that. So really bringing the best of technology and humankind together. 100%. As with any of these tools, you want to vet them for yourself to make sure that they fit your needs 
It makes sense in your own classroom. And are approved by your school district.